So I'm back at school, which means I have tons of homework that needs to be disposed of, but my issue is that crumpling all this paper takes a lot of time, and I need to find a more optimal way to fail all my classes. In other words, we need to automate this paper crumpling so I can give my hands a rest, get that failing grade, and make that YouTube ad revenue. Our goal is to crumple my physics homework, my comment section, and Ian's newest tutorial, and as long as you have the newest version of Blender, experience with simulations, and an average IQ, you too will learn to crumple paper in 3, 2, 1. So with Blender open, disown to default cube, replace it with a plane set to smooth shading with the right aspect ratio, and add in some geometry which we're going to need for simulation. Now in the shading workspace, apply the default material with my physics homework as the base color and crank up the roughness since paper isn't shiny. To get this texture projected correctly, just play around with the UVs until everything lines up and then pat yourself on the back because we're ready to start simulating our crumpling. To do this, add in a scaled up UV sphere with a solidify modifier to give it thickness and then just animate the sphere getting smaller. This will not only crumple our paper, but will also model the value added from 3ds Max annual updates. Now with everything set up, set the sphere to be a collision object and the plane to be a cloth object which gives us this initial simulation. Notice that the plane immediately starts starts off by falling, and when it does get crumbled, we're getting tons of self-intersections, which is just garbage. To fix this, enable self-collisions with a high friction value, and in the field weight section, bring the gravity down to zero, which now gives us this simulation. For even better results, use the leather preset with less bending stiffness to make our cloth behave more like paper, and when you're happy with what you're seeing, just bake in the physics to speed everything up. Now in the modifiers tab, add in a bevel modifier set to angle so we can control the look of this, and then also add in a subdivision surface modifier to smooth everything out. If you want more of a crumpled ball look, just add in a cast modifier which rounds off the mesh, or just place this entire simulation with the UV sphere which looks a bit rounder. And there you go, another beginner-friendly down-to-earth tutorial which lets you crumple your money, crumple your problems, and crumple yourself. I've been CG Matter, you've been you, Bye bye